This short section will explain how the early departure payment will work under the new Armed Forces Pension Scheme. The early departure payment, or EDP, exists to provide a retention incentive to draw people through to around age 40. To provide compensation to those who are not able to serve a full career and to aid resettlement into civilian life. To qualify for an EDP, you need to give 20 years of pensionable service and reach age 40, which is known as the 2040 point. Once you have achieved that qualification point, then you will be entitled to receive an EDP when you eventually leave the armed forces. All pensionable service under the new scheme will begin from your first day of paid service. If you serve beyond the EDP point then, when you leave the services, your EDP will be paid in two forms. Firstly, a tax-free lump sum, which will be the equivalent of two and a quarter times the size of your pension pot. Secondly, a regular income, paid monthly just like a salary, which will equate to 34% of your pension pot taken over a year. In fact, if you serve over the EDP point, then your income will be increased even further. You will be entitled to an additional 0.85 percentage points for each year you serve over the EDP threshold. In this example, if you serve five years beyond the EDP point, your monthly income will be the standard 34% of the pension pot plus an additional 0.85% for every year over the EDP point that you served, which would make your income 38.25% of the pension pot. Your income will not change until you reach age 55, at which point it will be increased to take into account the changes in the cost of living since you began to draw the income. All the Cumulative Consumer Prices Index, or CPI, changes that will have occurred since you left the armed forces will be applied to your income and it will be applied every year thereafter. Your EDP income will continue to be paid until you reach your state pension age, at which point it will cease and be replaced by your full, proper AFPS 15 pension. If you want to increase your EDP income, you have the option of giving up or inversely commuting your lump sum in order to generate a larger income. Your larger EDP income will continue to be paid until you reach state pension age, at which point it will be replaced by your full, proper AFPS 15 pension. We will now return to the main video.